Hey everyone, welcome to my review of the Marvel Legends Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Star Lord review. Now I'm slowly building up this team as I get them off in clearance, and Star Lord's no different. I did get him at Target on sale, which was pretty cool. He does not come with the Builder figure, so keep that in mind. Uh, I was planning on getting him last, just so I can have all the Builder figure pieces first, but I found him on sale, and I'm obviously going to take that, take that deal. Now the box is just like any other Marvel Legends box, nothing too special. Render artwork of the figure, but let's just get straight to the figure itself. So this is obviously the best version that we've gotten of Chris Pratt in toy form and figure form from the Marvel Legends line. I do think this is a really good head sculpt. It does capture the actor pretty well. And it looks just, it just looks nice. For the costume, nothing too special. It's just the same design that we've seen with uh, the other figures from this line. He does have pins though. So just keep that in mind uh, for this body. Now my issues with this figure is that I've only posed them a little bit and I'm already getting chipping right here on the shoulders as well as his legs are really, really loose. And this, at least this one right here just feels really gummy. So that's not great. This is probably my least favorite figure from this line or from this wave. But for articulation, I already have the paint messed up. Normally you can just go about that much. You can kind of force it, but careful. See like the paint's already chips. He has double jointed pins. So you can get good range of motion. Bicep swivel right here. And the hands hinge and swivel. Head can rotate freely. You can look up about that much and you can look down that much with he's really good for the torso you can bend back this much again this is pretty loose this figure doesn't feel solid like the other ones he can crunch down that much which is really good and then he has waist rotation for the legs he can kick up that much which is pretty good and about 90 he can kick back that much kick out that much and then Again, double jointed pins, not great for the kicking or for the bending of the knees. Typical marble rotations, they can bend back this much, bend forward this much. And then he does also have boot rotation, which is cool. And then he also has a thigh. Swing. For his accessories, he does come with his blasters. Um, they are pretty nice. They are sculpted and they have some good detail on them. And they also have a sliver of paint at the top and then right there at the tip of the blaster, which is pretty cool. And it's like your typical Star Lord accessory, so of course he should he should include his blasters. For some comparisons, here he is with his team member Nebula. There he is with his team member Drax and his team member Rocket. Now overall, I do think this is a decent figure. Um, his issues are just like the paint on the shoulders and then just the gumminess of his legs. But besides that, I do think it's a solid figure for you to have in your collection. But I do recommend you picking, if you want to pick these up, wait for them to be on clearance if you find them because I think they're not worth the $25 that they're asking for. Um, so definitely do wait for a sale on these figures. But overall, I do think it's a decent figure. One I'm going to be displaying with my other Guardians and my other Marvel figures. So if you enjoyed, let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe, like the video. That's all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.